I kept cheating so much and I just couldn't stop. I cheated on him with like four guys. I was always open and honest about it. At that time, um, I could have been monogamous with her the rest of my life because I, I loved her like that. I was heartbroken to say the least about it because I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough. Please. Men can cry, you so it's okay to be weak. All I am is a man, I want the world in my hands, I hate the beat. Oh my bad, call my legs, the lot of I ended up in hospital now because she won't let me out of the house. It's not funny though, it? can I tell you why it's not funny? If this was the other way around and a woman was sat here and a bloke had locked her in a flat and she had to jump out and injure herself, you lot would not be laughing. Somehow, if it happens to a bloke, that's funny. That's not funny, is it? Thank you. Never in human history, in any single civilization, in any single empire across the history of Earth, have men been celebrated for their weakness, ever once. It doesn't matter if you were an Aztec or the, or the Mao dynasty, from China all the way to South America. Every single history book you can read, men who are respected and men who had stories written about them were written about them because they were strong. Weak men have never been respected, weak men have never mattered. For you to come along and say, I think it's okay to be weak is fine. That is your initiative, that is your decision. No. The reason you lack is because you lack brain, you lack ball. It's very helpful for people to hear that they should make themselves competent and dangerous and take their proper place in the world. Competent and dangerous? Mm -hmm. Why dangerous? Because it's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. They're weak. How is it good to be dangerous? Because it makes you formidable. And life is a very difficult process. It's not for, you're not prepared for it unless, unless you have the capacity for to be dangerous. That doesn't mean that you should be cruel. It doesn't mean any of that. There's a statement in the New Testament, the meek shall inherit the earth. But the meek isn't well translated. It means something more like those who, those who have swords and know how to use them but keep them sheathed will inherit the world. That's a way better way of thinking about it.
Never in human history, in any single civilization, in any single empire across the history of Earth, have men been celebrated for their weakness. Ever once. It doesn't matter if you were an Aztec or the, or the Mao dynasty, from China all the way to South America. Every single history book you can read, men who were respected and men who had stories written about them were written about them because they were strong. Weak men have never been respected. Weak men have never mattered. For you to come along and say, I think it's okay to be weak is fine. That is your initiative. That is your no. decision. The reason you're not because you lack brain. You lack ball. It's very helpful for people to hear that they should make themselves competent and dangerous and take their proper place in the world. Competent and dangerous? Mm. Why dangerous? Because it's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high...